Well, after a year and a half of just straight grinding, it's finally happened, you guys. <laughs> your boy is monetized. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Please hold your applause. I gotta take a breather because I've been creating content for so long for free. So to finally be able to get paid for all of the hours I put into these videos, and let me tell you guys, I've put in a lot of hours, lots and lots of hours. If you guys watch my stream, you know I be like on there every day for at least eight hours. Not, not, y'all you know, take breaks, but doing that stuff consistently for free like that, I can't. I just want to thank everybody who's been supporting me and watching my videos because I wouldn't have been able to achieve this without you. So thank you guys so much for helping me get my dream job. I can finally do this YouTube stuff. We're going to see where this goes, okay? I didn't make this video to flex or brag or anything. I'm just genuinely excited to finally be a YouTube partner. I've been on YouTube for about 10 years and I'm just now getting monetized. Well, I was monetized like in 2015 before the apocalypse happened, but you know, that was a different time. Back then, you only needed like 10,000 views to become a partner. Yeah, different times, man, different times. Within my quest of trying to become a YouTube partner, I've gathered knowledge and information from various sources. And bringing us back to the reason why I'm making this video to begin with is I want to share that knowledge with you because some of you guys might be trying to become a YouTube partner yourselves, but don't know what the requirements are and where you need to go and this, this, that, and the third, and I'm here to help. So to start things off, in order to apply for the YouTube partnership program, you must first reach these eligibility requirements. You must have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and you must either get 4,000 watch hours on long form content within the span of 365 days, or get 10 million views on short form content within the span of 90 days. Now that second option was kind of crazy for your boy. So, you know, I got that 4K in one one year, you know what I'm saying? Like I, not 10 million bro, like dang, I, some of y'all, I don't know how y'all did it. You know, there's people out there doing that, but it ain't me. So uh, yeah, I, I went with the 4K. However, earlier this year, they did reduce the requirements needed to apply for the YouTube Partner Program. So now you only need 500 subscribers and either 3,000 watch hours on long form content within the last 365 days or 3 million views on short form content within the past 90 days. The difference, however, is that you don't unlock that many monetization options. You only unlock super chat, meaning somebody can tip you like 10, $20 if they like your video. You will not make money off of ads. In order to do that, you must still reach the 1000 subscribers requirement and the 4000 watch hours or 10 million short views to get ads played on your, your videos. For those of you who don't know, ads are how you get paid on YouTube. Essentially, those annoying commercials that play at the beginning of a video before the video you're trying to watch starts, that's how your YouTuber makes money. That means for those ads that have a skip button, every time you hit that skip button, the, the YouTuber doesn't make anything off of that video. But you know, they have different variety of ads. They have ads that you can't skip. So, you know, there's that. Essentially, there's an actual human who owns the ads and they approach YouTube with a budget saying, hey, I would like my videos to be on your platform. YouTube's like, oh yeah, no problem. They take the money, they take the ad, and then they place them on specific videos around YouTube. Then they split the money that the advertiser gave to YouTube amongst themselves and the YouTuber. Now, the money that the advertiser gives to YouTube is known as CPM cost per mil. That's essentially how much they're paying YouTube to put their ads on that platform. Now, once YouTube takes their 45% cut, the remaining 55% cut is known as RPM, which stands for revenue per mil. This is the amount of money you'll be making off of the advertisers. Now your CPM and RPM can fluctuate for various reasons. Two of them being where your viewers reside in and what your niche is for your YouTube channel. Another reason could be the time of the year as to when you're posting. 
you'll probably see a RPM jump around October or towards the end near Christmas, Thanksgiving. That's when advertisers are really trying to like sell stuff to people. So yeah, they're more willing to spend money around this time of the year. Whereas January, February, or just the early parts of the year, they're not really trying to sell stuff. So you're gonna see a, a huge dip in your RPM. I can't speak from experience because I just got monetized, but based off of what I researched, this is what I've been told. The average RPM for a YouTuber is anywhere from $1 to $5, but sometimes it could be higher. It really just depends. Every YouTube channel is different. This is how much YouTube pays you every time you hit a thousand views in ads. Some channels have an RPM of $20 to $30 per thousand views, which is crazy. Like I said earlier, one of the things that might give you an increased RPM is dependent on your niche. If you're a channel that centers around finance and making money and all that stuff, you're most likely going to hit that 20 to $30 range within your niche. Whereas if you're a gaming channel or an animating channel or maybe a vlog channel, it's really dependent. You might, you're most likely gonna be in that $1 to $5, $10 range. It's different for every YouTube channel though. Some other things that you probably might not be aware of is your subscribers have no effect on your RPM. Your subscribers do not affect how much money you make on your YouTube channel. Having a high sub count is cool, but the thing that pays you is how many views you get. The only thing subscribers really do for you is help you get that 1000 requirement to become a YouTube partner. After that, you're really just building a community of people who like your content, but they do not affect the revenue that you make on YouTube. That is completely dependent on how many people are watching your video and are they watching it from start to finish or are they like, you know, watching it for five seconds and then clicking off and going to a new video. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and if I missed anything, please leave it in the comment section below. I might make a part two video to this. I'm most likely going to make another video in correlation to me being a YouTube partner with like financial transparency. I wanted to share how much I make within the first month for people who are curious how much a small YouTube channel actually makes. Once again, this is not to flex or anything. This is just an informative video to share with you guys how much a small YouTuber actually makes. So if you're interested in that and you want to know how much you would be making if you were a YouTube partner, subscribe and hit the notification bell button so that you're notified every time I make a new upload. Okay, it's very important that you hit that notification bell button, bro. I want you guys to know when I'm uploading. I plan on making a lot of videos this year. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed already, who has been watching my videos this far. Um, the type of content I'm going to be making is going to vary. It's most likely going to be story times and skits and all that stuff. But, you know, this particular video is the video I wish I had when I was trying to become a YouTube partner. So hopefully some of you guys get some level of knowledge or inspiration or motivation from this. And you also start pursuing your dreams or whatever if you're trying to become a youtube partner and with that your boy is out thank you